Are you bored with your life? Would you like something exciting? Then introducing the brand new Crystal Stars! Uh, here's how it works. You go through this dangerous sewer in a dangerous town, and you find the pedestal, and then you record the location on your map. And then you're off for an adventure where you'll possibly die. Just call 1-800-YOU-IDIOTS. That's 1-800-YOU-IDIOT. <coughs> I don't know where that intro came from. I'm weird. What's up, YouTubers? I'm Ryanson1, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Door for Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, uh, we did some side questing in Hooktail Castle. So in this episode, we're finding location in the next Crystal Star, but we're being introduced to new enemies. And I should have taken out Bobbery for these guys, because they have defense. And we are electrified. Um, good thing I have Quick Change on, I think. Do I have Quick Change on? Yes, I do. And looks like that Magic Koopa has a watch. Stopwatch. I want to get rid of him, uh, I don't want to use up any FP, so I'm just going to take him out with Goombella, or her, I don't know its gender. Okay, I'll try to show off the Magic Koopas later, but I just do not want to have time frozen on me, because that makes me unable to do anything. So now let's swap back to Bobbery. And use our hammer. Need to add power smash back sometime. And let's charge up our bomb and boom! Also, I totally forgot what the next thing I'm gonna do for level up. Uh, was it gonna be HP? Maybe I should do some P BP, like. I'm not even going to check what I last leveled up. I think I'm just going to do BP next level up. Because BP is actually pretty useful. Stop having stopwatches. I want to show off your moves, Magic Koopa. Let's just kill him now. And hopefully I can show him off soon. And look how much star points they give off right now. Either I'm under leveled or... Enemies are giving off a lot of star points, and ooh, that's like a multi-hammer attack. I'm just gonna jump on him, because why not? And doing stylish is so fun, even when you have, like, full star power. Uh, it's just such a cool feature in this game. Like, uh, people think, you know, the sticker star defenders uh, who think that fans of the first few Paper Mario games don't want something different... That's not the case, because remember, Sticker Star isn't the only game that innovated. Thousand Year Door innovated as well. It greatly expanded on the formula of the first game, with the whole audience system, and start, and like, bingo, everything, and all the different paper abilities. Like, there's so much new content in this game, I don't get it. blow him up, and he has one HP left, and, ah, uh, my TV needs to stop blacking out. It only happens when I'm recording. Anyway, he just healed himself, and I want to show off its move, so I'm just going to defend for now. Uh... Yeah, he can clone uh, himself, so try to find the real one. But it's basically a game of chance, so you do not want to do it. I recommend doing normal attacks rather than FP attacks. And yeah, they can cast spells at you. No matter what, they are going to die this turn. Because even if that was the fake one, Bobbery was going to take care of the real one. And though that's how the Magic Koopa works. And now we have one more new enemy, and I think we fought this guy, or we fought a stronger version of this guy in the Glitz Pits. It was like the number one ranking enemy. Anyway, I'll, I'm just going to take this first one out, because these guys, they are really powerful. Keep that in mind, they are powerful. 
die, and how much star points do you give off? You also give off five. And of course you call a new one! Of course you're gonna do that, and it's Fog, so I'm probably gonna miss him! Yep, I did. So now, I have two enemies attacking me this turn, and they're both powerful. Isn't that just wonderful? And the fog removed and then came back. That's funny. Uh, at least you missed me. And come on, just die. Uh, I said die. Why won't the fog go away? Oh, at least he died anyway. There we go. Guarded that just fine. Honestly, I don't think HP is that much a problem right now. So maybe I won't do uh, level up HP quite as often. Like, I'll still do it, but maybe, like, not quite as often. Because I'm doing pretty good with 35 HP. After watching the Saiyan Ella play the original Paper Mario, I can really see that, although HP is important, it's not the most important thing. Like, as long as you have enough to where you won't die easily, I think you're good. But, like, I still try to make sure I have a good amount of HP so I, I can stay alive for longer, but, you know, there's healing items as well. Um, I s have a bad memory. Oh, yeah, I never got a star. Okay, yeah, I did get the star piece there. All right, well... Bobbery is gonna see this awesome cutscene for the first time. Just call 1-800-YOU-IDIOT. That's 1-800-YOU-IDIOT. And let's fill out our map. Let's see where the next crystal star is. By the way, our current crystal star, the last one we just got, is a sapphire, and that's really cool. Sapphires are so cool, as well as emeralds. Emeralds are probably my favorite gem, but I also really love sapphires, and I should probably stop ranting about this subject that nobody cares about. And now we have this orangish looking one. It, it what, didn't we get an orange one from the Glitz Pits? Oh, whatever, it... I guess both my two favorite chapters in the game have an orange crystal star, yeah. This next upcoming chapter is my favorite chapter in the game. Right, let's pop in uh, on that professor fellow. Oh, yeah. I'm, I don't remember Bobbery's voice, I'm trying to make him sound like an old tough sailor with a hint of pirates. Great news, my friends! The next crystal star is in Poshley Heights! Wait a tick. I've heard, uh, t I, I've heard tell that only the rich and famous call that place home. Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure that's also a shrine to the stars called the uh, Poshly Sanctum. Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dungeon, or dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. Hmm. Sounds positively scintillating, my dear boy. Point us there. It's amazing how this is like a kid's game, but like there's so much vocabulary that even I don't know. That's the best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the XS Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine uh, excursion, uh, the next crystal star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars uh, has been uh, back-breaking work, but this time uh, will be a cinch. Pardon me for saying so, but mustn't uh, you have wealth or fame to ride that train? Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you could ask Don Pianta for help uh, with this, too. Ah, uh, no. Terribly sorry. Hmm, impossible. Can't do it. That man's reprehensible. Why is there so much vocabulary? I don't know. Well, drap. I suppose there's nothing for it, eh, old boy? If we must, we must. Let's go. Excellent. Then we're set. We may not have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll gather information uh, I can. Uh, you guys just handle the end of things. By the way, if you have Miss Mouse out for that, she'll know about Don Pianta and how he, uh, bad of a person he is. So it's kind of funny because uh, she's 
Like, how does she know that? Is Does she spy on uh, the citizens of this town? It's kind of creepy to think about. Uh, oh, I believe there's a new shine sprite we can get somewhere around here. Yeah, this crack in the wall right here. Let's just blow it up. Ahem. Bobbery. Do you know how to blow stuff up? That's how you do it. It's so simple. Let's get our shine sprite right there, and we are off to see Don Piazza. By the way, uh, I told... I was told that I had given Don Piazza the wrong accents. Uh, but I honestly don't even know what his accent should sound like, and I don't even remember what accent I gave him in the first place. Hey, if it ain't the guys uh, from before, you need to meet with the boss once again, eh? Well, normally we could, you know, help you out, but the boss is currently snoozing. Sir, Francisca. Aw, oh, poor boss. The big man's uh, been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our boss, an underboss, Frankie, is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's a syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. But hey, but enough about us and the stupid problems, huh? Uh, what can we do for you? What can you, we do for you? What? Tickets for the ritziest uh, train around? For the XS Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that rolling uh, wingding? Oh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets, that's rich. You gotta talk for the boss for that. Francisca! I just can't see stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew where those uh, newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see him. Hang on, those two uh, frondy folk, Frankie and Francisca, from Key Hall Key? How do you know that? Who's on to what now? What did you say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Piazza is at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. Uh, well, if that's where she is, then my TV will black out, and I ca- <laughs> Why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We'd go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us to young Miss Francisca, and uh, we'll do what you can for- Ticket. I didn't read all that. I knew once he understood. Yeah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, let's just go find her daughter. And take out Snowfall so we can get there faster. And I know it's not that long of a walk, but I think I'll see you guys back at Cortez's ship. Okay, that did not take long at all. But here he is. You go into Key Hall Key, amigo! Excellent! Muy bueno! To see we go, amigo! Set sails! Destination! Key Hall Key! And then we sail over. I wonder if we can skip this cutscene. Uh. Oh, by the way, there's Luigi over there! I guess I'll talk to him when we get back. Uh, is there a way to skip this cutscene? Yes, there is. Just press the A button. And here we are on Key Hall Key. So, yeah, um, it's debating on whether or not to cut this out. It, it's, it's not that long of a trip. I know I cut out that thing in Rogue Port, but... Oh, wait! Did I see what I thought I saw? Did I see what I thought I saw? Yes! There's a star piece back here! I must have missed it when we were here. And... Let's see if there's any enemies around here, maybe? Oh. Hi, guys. Oh, hey, it's Mario. How you, you been, dear pal? We do something for you? I don't remember the voice I I don't remember the voice for most of the people I gave. What? The boss is sick? 
Oh, poor daddy! Oh no, uh, and at a time like this? You see, I... I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my little fuzzy little coconuts. Shouldn't we forget about that ring now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that... Talk about a selfish girl! Uh, it's only a symbol of your love. It, just because you don't have it doesn't mean you don't love them. So uh, you're going to try and find that when your own father is sick. Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. We got. You're going to have to say you love me 100 times. 100 times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now, please, let's go. No! You have to say 99 more times, Frankie. Aw, fine, you crazy dame. I love you. 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 Ten times. <laughs> Eleven times. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. <laughs> it counts for you. I love you. I love you. <coughs> I love you. 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 Look at that. 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 50. This game has amazing dialogue. Don't get me wrong, I love the dialogue in Undertale, but like, I'm not sure if it can beat out this game's dialogue. Um, I think it's a tie at best. Okay, 90 times. We're almost there. Don't worry. 100 times. I love you. <sighs> There, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. Hee hee hee. Yeah. Now, my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? Wow. Uh, you think these guys are gonna be all right looking for that thing on their own? Listen, Mario, we better play it safe and help them, don't you think? Yeah, we have a world to save. We need to hurry. Uh, and I ran into this guy. Uh, I want to see how much star points they give off, so see you guys in a sec. Oh wait, actually, I think now might be a good time to show off Miss Mouse's new abilities. Or at least one of them, because none of them have any items, so I can't show off Kiss Thief. So I just hammer him like that, and Love Slap. You repeatedly tell it, uh, tilt it left and right, I'm not good at... What? Only one damage? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. Uh. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Um, if you have an electric uh, ability on you, fuzzies cannot drain anything from you. All right. Uh, I want to show off some other stuff. So let's take out Snowfall, and I want to show off his new. Ultra rank ability. So you press L and R, alternate repeatedly, and he calls a whole herd of Yoshis. It's such a cool attack, probably one of my favorites in the game. Okay, they only give off stu two star points each. Now let's finish them off with a hammer. Yeah, two star points each. That's about as much star points as an enemy in the original Paper Mario would give off give off when you first go to an area and you're decently leveled like that's one thing that really bothers me about the first paper mario enemies do not give off enough star points also i th think it's a problem that i don't re exactly remember where the ring is i remember the general area but i'm not sure it's either in this area or in the area where we found bobbery almost dying uh, let's see, let's check all the bushes. Actually, I think it's where Bobbery was when he first became our partner, so... I'm just gonna go over there, and we're already here, so no need to cut things out. Um, yeah, here it is. It's not even hidden in a bush. 
Oh, come on. You can't go up those little teeny tiny stairs, Snowfall. Are you serious? I'll see you guys back where Frankie and Francisco were. Here's the wedding ring. Oh, hey, that's it. That's it. That's the ring. That's the ring. You found it, pal. So if you drop the wedding ring, how did it end up all the way over there? If you dropped it around here. Frankie, now we can go home to daddy. We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be back at the dock. Hurry back, please. Okay, I do not want to have so much unnecessary cutting, so... I guess I'm just gonna talk on the way back. So, how are you guys? I hope you're not bad. And we're already here. <laughs> Okay, Mario. I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogue Ports. Oh, Daddy, please hang on until we get there. Alright, come on. I'm trying to talk to Cortez. Ready to return to Rogue Port, amigo? Bueno, we are off. Cast off, mi amigos, to Rogue Port. We have to go see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francisca. Alright, so I'm going to meet you guys back at Don Pianta's place. And look, you can see them running in the background. And they just disappear. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy! Wake up! Open your eyes! Boss! Alright, let's see them. Francisca? Daddy! Boss! Oh, my little Francisca, you came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Oh, sure you did. You totally didn't want to try and get your ring first. Francisca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of uh, you uh, to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks out like even Don Piazza, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Whoa, what? No, it's time. I mean it. And I want uh, you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Piazza Syndicate. What? But, but boss, you still got it in ya. You. You're a spring chicken. You don't uh, gotta do this. I mean, me, boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking uh, that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francisca and the rest of the syndicate the way I did. Boss! You, Mario, looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful. I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him um, we'd give him a ticket for the Excess Express if you uh, brought your daughter. Whoa! Is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many do you want? Two, ten, one, two, ten. Help yourself. Don't we need two train tickets for our partner? Or maybe however many partners we have? You come back anytime you like. How about that? Well, any now that uh, I've retired, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy! Boss! You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Frankie, we've got lots of work to do, and don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet. Bean, come on! Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, uh, will you? Call me Francisca! Huh? F -f 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 Francisca? 
Yes, or Miss Boss. Tee hee hee. Under boss. Uh, or I mean boss. You got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. I'm just checking stuff. You're welcome any day. Well, you're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think of joining up with the syndicate? It's the life, kid. Whatever, I think we've done enough for this episode. I'm going to rest the end, and I'm going to start talking to Luigi in the next episode. And then we will head off to, chap to chapter 6. Yes, 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 we could go to Poshley Heights. Uh, yes, that six crystal star is as good as ours. <laughs> I, I heard that, my uglies. So the six crystal stars in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Beldum. Hey, you're that Beldum. Normally, this would be uh, where uh, I finally deal with you and that homely traitor, Vivian. But something tells me that trying alone might be unwise. So you live, for now. Instead, I'll just be eating the Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. Mwee <laughs> Whoa, that sounded bad. We gotta get to Poshley Heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for Rogueport Station. Okay, but I think we're gonna do that in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. And next time on Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, we are going to Chapter 6 after hearing Luigi's story. Till then, Ryan Hanson 1. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh. This is so cute! It's like Snowfall is just resting his head on Mario and they're both asleep. That is adorable!